qualifying for another major tournament, although there is still plenty of work to be done. Handshakes now, but then it's down to business. Let's confirm the lineups for you tonight then. With John Hutchison suspended, Newcastle's Kevin Gallagher returns to partner Billy Dodds up front. Two other changes from the last game last month in Estonia with Ian Durant and Alan Johnston replaced by fit again Paul Lambert and David Hopkin. Craig Brown unable to call on injured Rangers duo Neil McCann and Barry Ferguson, but at least Colin Henry gets a rare Ibrox start. Yeah, we're all very good at picking teams after the event, Ian, but uh, before the ball is kicked tonight, and regardless of the result, I think this is the right side that Craig Brown has picked tonight. He's gone for a back four instead of a three, and I think he can do that tonight because we expect Bosnia to play with one up and one off. I think that the midfield three of Hopkin, Lambert and Collins will play pretty narrowly tonight. I don't think we'll see Hopkin as wide as he played against the Czech Republic at Celtic Park. If they get enough of the ball that three, that should allow Davidson to get forward in this position here. It should mean that Dodds will get more of the ball into feet because he will certainly drop off. If that is the case, that should release Bodley to get forward and help his front two. Well, Bosnia are boosted by the return of Real Madrid's Balic and Borussia Dortmund's Kapitanovic both miss out against the Scots in Sarajevo. Elvira Bolic is the danger man up front, but Bayern Munich striker Hasan Salahimidzic is missing, injured amid a club v country row. There are debuts for goalkeeper Kuso and defender Kudorovic. Yeah, they might be 88th in the FIFA rankings, Ian, but uh, I don't think that uh, we can afford to underestimate this side. I think Scotland will give them every respect. And if you look at, around the individual pedigree that they have, uh, Barbara playing in the Bundesliga with Borussia Dortmund, as is Kapitanovic, the front two of Balnik and Bolic, uh, who played together at Fenerbahce. Balik now uh, playing his football at the Bernabeu with Real Madrid. Bolic, I would say, is the more dangerous of the two. He's on fire just now, four goals in his last four Euro 2000 qualifying matches, including the one against Sarajevo. What I would like to see, though, is this man here, new goalkeeper, first international match away from home. I'd like to see Scotland put him under some early pressure and see how he copes. Indeed. Some Scots expect their boys to bash Bosnia, but you have to remember they have some pretty good players. Colin Hendry makes a rare appearance then on his home ground. He may be out of favour with Rangers, but he captains his country again. And on a night like this, he's the sort of man, the sort of leader you'd want in your team. Although Mr. Advocat might disagree. Billy Dodds has scored four goals in this qualifying campaign. His spectacular strike in Sarajevo last month beat Bosnia. Can he do it again on his international anniversary? It's three years to the day since he first played for Scotland. Leif Sundell from Sweden is the man in charge. If Scotland make it to the playoffs, as they surely will, they'll find out a week tomorrow who they'll face when the draw is made in Germany. It could be England, of course. It could be France, the world champions. Portugal, perhaps. Turkey, Denmark. Slovenia. We will know the eight teams involved in those playoffs by the weekend, but we will know tonight that Scotland have made it if they win here, if they beat the Bosnians. And it's Scotland who get us off and run. Just one defeat in 27 qualifying matches on home soil, stretching back 12 years. Davidson immediately finding Gallagher. Bosnia have only managed one victory in their last ten internationals. This is Kapitanovic of Borussia Dortmund who missed the game in Sarajevo last month. Yeah, I just showed the studs there, the referee uh made the correct decision there, John Collins, uh, Adam went up immediately appealing for it, you see him following through there. I think Collins and Lambert in particular are big players for us tonight, Ian, they're playing the holding where they have to get a grip of that midfield. Side flag has gone up. This game should have taken place last March, of course, it was postponed because of the Kosovo crisis. And Balic trying to latch 
onto that, but it was always heading through to Neil Sullivan. Yeah, it was overhit, but uh, certainly caught us very squarely. Scotland, of course, played with a four tonight from the, the normal preferred three that Craig normally, normally uses, and that supposes the danger that the ball in behind. Colin Hendry letting that one go to Neil Sullivan, winning his 11th cap in Scotland's goal. which didn't bring Mooch in for free kick and he so. Burley and the Scottish throat. Scotland back on home soil after five consecutive away games on the international scene. This is Farisanovic and another throw. Craig Burley, and that's a lovely cross, and Gusso on his debut, given an early test. Yeah, he's asked, answered the first question, Ian. That's exactly what um, Sue Craig Brown told uh, his lads to do, get an early ball in and pressure this goalkeeper. And you have to say, he dealt with it very well on that occasion. The ball's in the air a long time, he knows he's going to be under pressure with Scottish players closing him down, but he kept his eye on it, and a firm pair of gloves on the ball. He plays his football in Turkey. Kudorovic, Elvira Polic, with an excellent record of 11 goals in 18 internationals. Ita Jarovic, and again it skips through to Neil Sullivan, who was a little unfortunate really at Sheffield Wednesday on Saturday. He conceded five goals, but he didn't get much help from his defence, and he made a few good saves. Paul Lambert. John Collins. Christian Bailey finding the teammate, Billy Whitson. Burley. Lambert. kept eight clean sheets in their last 15 home games which is quite a good record and they'll be keen to improve on it today they've certainly got a free kick here as Burley is fell. Well. It's a pretty dangerous uh, area.